Hello, I'm Richard Matthews. I'm a consultant cosmetic and reconstructive plastic surgeon and I work at the Nuffield Health Warwickshire Hospital, which is where my private practice is based. And I also operate at the BMI Meriden Hospital in Coventry and I consult at the Renatus Clinic in Rugby. And I hold a substantive consultant post within the National Health Service. I'm going to talk about rhinoplasty. Rhino obviously comes from the Greek word for nose, hence rhinoceros. And plasty is, comes from the Greek root plastos, I fashion or mold, which is where plastic surgery comes from. So we're going to refashion the nose. Patients come to see me because their noses are misshapen, either as a result of trauma or alternatively they were born that way or at least developed in that way as the nose, nose grew into adulthood. Sometimes there's an element of obstruction to breathing, uh, particularly if there's been trauma in the past that needs to be considered at the same time. When patients come to see me, clearly I need to understand exactly what it is that bothers them. How do I go about that? Well, I take photographs of their nose from different angles and print them out straight away. And then I invite patients to tell me what they don't like about their nose. If they can't do that, then clearly there is a problem because I'm not going to be able to do an operation to satisfy them. On the other hand, if they can show me exactly what they don't like about their nose, I can see that and I feel that there's something that I can do to help them, then we're in the same ballpark and we can move forward. The nose itself is made up half of bone, the upper part here, if you try it, you can't move that part of your nose and the lower half of the nose is made up of tissue called cartilage which makes it semi-solid and therefore makes it mobile. It's like the stuff that makes up the shape of your ear. Now it, depending on exactly how the bony parts and the cartilaginous parts of the nose sit, what size and shape they are, that will determine what your nose looks like and also will determine what needs to be done to adjust them, for instance, perhaps to make the nose straighter, or to take a hump off the nose, or to reduce the size of the tip, or an overhang, or any of these in combination. And indeed, also to assess the net airways inside the nose with regard to breathing, which may be adjusted at the same time. The first approach is called a closed rhinoplasty, which indicates that all the incisions are made inside the nose, which is perfectly possible. That allows access to the hump part of the nose and also to the cartilages that make up the tip of the nose uh, so that they can be adjusted. And then the incisions inside the nose are simply closed up with dissolvable stitches. Alternatively, one can use what is termed an open rhinoplasty or open tip rhinoplasty. The drawback to an open tip rhinoplasty is the tip of the nose remains pretty swollen for quite a long time. It takes much longer to settle down than a closed rhinoplasty. And in addition, there may be some loss of feeling in the nose tip. It does creep back in gradually, but it takes perhaps three to four months to do so. There are horses for courses, and sometimes an open tip rhinoplasty is exactly the right procedure to use. Uh, and sometimes a close rhinoplasty is the most favoured. Obviously in quite a short video like this it's not possible to be absolutely comprehensive about problems and complications following surgery but these are discussed in great detail and comprehensively at my consultation which is not a brief affair and furthermore are summarised in a detailed letter to all my new patients after the consultation so that there's no question of doubt about any aspect and it's perfectly possible to come back, ask further questions, have another consultation if necessary if something is not absolutely clear prior to surgery. The face is the central part of the body image and of course the nose is the absolute central part of that. So 
It is a part that is particularly seen by yourself and by everyone around you. Rhinoplasty, well performed, makes a huge difference to people for that reason. 